Welcome back to Life with Aisha. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. Or as I have recently coined my A squad, similar to the A team, but better. <laughs> so we're just gonna get right into this video. Um, today I'm doing an Urban Outfitters haul, and Urban is like one of my favorite stores because I feel like I can go there and I can get everything in one place. Like, especially if I'm on like my wanting to be kind of like sporty chic type of look or like I like to shop like menswear stuff as well too sometimes like so like if I go I'll go there like for my brother and like we'll be like shopping in the same section or I'll be like get that because I can like wear your shirt <laughs> so anywho um I did make two orders at Urban so yeah I have this like huge box here full of the items but it's not really a lot once I break it down this all started off you know I always have a story for everything I buy it's all started off because I wanted this t-shirt this Adidas t-shirt which I'll show to you now and it looks like this of course it's wrinkly because it's been in the package but that's just how it looks and this is the back of it And I think it's cool because it has like this Adidas FIFA Classics um, stitching at the bottom of it. But um, yeah, I wanted this t-shirt. It's on other websites and it's like $40. And if you don't know anything, I have a t-shirt on now. I am a lover of t-shirts. And it's not even the fact that I just love to wear them all the time. It's just that I have kind of like this t-shirt like business, off and on business. And I just have really accumulate a lot of t-shirts. I actually tried counting them one day when I was trying to clean, organize my closet, which was a major fail. But I know it was like over a hundred t-shirts. Like, and I'm just like, that is so ridiculous because I need over a hundred pants and bottoms, not t-shirts. I have too many t-shirts. Moving on to this haul. So yeah, um, I needed to get my total to at least $50 because I wanted free shipping because I'm like, if I buy this t-shirt, mind you, it was $20 on Urban. So if I buy the t-shirt off Urban for $20 and the shipping and the tax and stuff accumulated, I'm already probably just about at that $40. So I said, forget that and just fill my basket up with other stuff so I can at least get my money's worth and only have to pay the tax, which was like three or four dollars. So I ended up getting that t-shirt down. Urban also had a deal. It was like 30 or to 50 or 30 to 70 percent off the whole website. So I did like add some codes and stuff in. But the shirt ended up being only $13.99. So they had some slides on there that I wanted. And I haven't wanted these for a while. I own like a couple of Adidas slides. But I didn't um I didn't want to pay full price for them because I think their slides are like $40, $50. So I ended up getting these for $20. And this is just how they look. And um they look kind of, they're coming up like this kind of like mirror gold color on camera, but they're really like a like a neon orange in person. Um, let's see if I can get it to show the true color of it. Logically, it's better to spend money on items than spend money in shipping costs. So I picked up these socks here, and these are just some um, green and white, like kind of tie-dye bleach Adidas socks. I never really buy Adidas socks or just really socks period like this because I think of them as being more manly. But I mean, I can get a use out of it, probably walk around my room in them i highly doubt i use these for an outfit or i might end up giving them away holidays are coming up who knows so i got that pair and i also got this pair here and it's like a navy um tie-dye look with the black stripes on it so i thought these were cool and that's just a close-up of them and those socks actually ended up being four dollars and 19 cents a pair and they're originally these are originally $12 and these were originally $10. So I got like them like kind of half off. Okay, the next things I got were some sunglasses because they were hella cheap and these were $2 and they're originally $16. So these are just some clear rimless glasses 
and I'll try them on real quick. So, that's how they look. I look like a librarian. <laughs> fun story or fun, fun fact. I actually used to have reading glasses when I was younger, but I have pretty good sights. But I just never wore them. But yeah, I used to like sometimes at school pull my glasses out for reading. And I always felt like I looked like a super geek. So I never really wore them. But my sight is like pretty good, if not perfect. Pass myself on back. So I never had to get like contacts or anything. But if I had to, I would have got contacts. Because I, no offense to anybody out there with glasses. Because my sister wears glasses. But I always joke with her about them. Like I'm too old to be walking around with glasses on. <laughs> But um, yeah, and these are just some clear glasses. I don't really need these either. And honestly, I feel like they will look nice on the guy. So maybe I, maybe my little guy friend in my life. <laughs> Let me stop. But um, yeah, maybe that'll be a gift because I doubt that I wear these. I highly doubt it. And also because, like I said, I was trying to just add in miscellaneous things. Let me open these up. And this is just how they look. I'm on my, what, John Lennon, <laughs> Elton John, John Lennon vibe. But yeah, I think these are super cool. These actually be like cool, like with like a little ACDC outfit or Guns N' Roses outfit at like a festival or something. I always do that um, when I see an item, I'm like, I always picture where I could wear them, what type of event, what type of outfit. This is a close up of them. And I thought they were pretty cool. And that's really the only thing that I got in this order. Um, I did, like I said, I placed another order with Urban Outfitters just because I was like, I like those shoes. Those shoes are cute. And I got them because I was originally planning on wearing them to this homecoming game I went to where they were playing. My team was the, my school was the opponent to their team. It was their home game, but it was just closer to me than Arkansas. And long story short didn't make it to the game didn't make it to the tailgate or anything really like that so these were kind of bought in vain but of course i'm gonna wear them and these are the authentic um surf chick black slash sunflower fans um there you go and i did i do grab any of my low top vans i grabbed them in a seven versus a six half just because i like the they kind of fit a little slim, like, as you can see, it's like a slim fit shoe. So I do kind of go up a half size. But this is how they look. Super cool, right? I thought they were cool. And um, they were originally like 60 some dollars. I got them for 50 with some other code I had. But, um, yeah, they're black and gold. And my school colors, shout out to UAPB, Golden Lions. Our colors are black and gold, like black, gold, and white. So... I was trying to step outside the box and I was going to have me a cute little t-shirt or sweatshirt on for the tailgate and give me like a homecoming vibe, but that didn't happen. So I saved that outfit. And that's really the only stuff I got from Urban. I only have these other shoes here, some more Vans, just because um, I've had these for a while and I don't think I ever showed them on my channel, but I got these back in either September or August, I believe. They're just the old school flame Vans. Like I said, I've been having these for like close to two months, but I just ain't done a sneaker video in a minute. And that's just how they look. Um, you seen one pair of Vans, old school, you seen them all, different print, whatever. And I can't wait to rock these. These are very on trend. And that's really it. Um, as far as throw a little sneaker talking here real quick, I haven't really been into buying and copying a lot of stuff lately, just because. Nothing has really caught my attention. I took an L on those, um, the spooky pack, the blazers that came out, the off-white ones. Um, didn't get them in the raffle and the sneakers out failed me, per usual. And then I tried to get the Converse, the black, white, and orange Converse and took an L on those as well. So basically this sound cookie crumble with the two shoes i was trying to cop I, my plan was to grab me something off-white before the year ends i mean we have a couple months left so fingers crossed for me like praying to the shoe gods <laughs> but um yeah so i didn't come up on any of it i did like those um i think they were the 
the purple what was the name of those i know the other ones were like the celtic um jordan ones and then like the purple jordan ones the they came out they both came out the same day i thought about grabbing one of those and i was like i don't really need those like and i own quite a few jordan ones so i was like you know what i'll sit out on that release so i didn't even attempt to get any of those i saw that was a super hype release though like i saw some of everyone cop those even people i normally never see the <coughs> hype beast they grabbed them and i'm just like of course but it was like a hella hype release and they sold out and people were like really over the top of those. I'm like, I probably could enter a rapper for those like locally and grab them, but just wasn't nothing I was trying to get. Um, what else? It has, it's been a minute since I did a sneaker haul. Oh, the Dragon Ball Z, um, what are those called? The Adidas Young One. Try for those, took an L on those. I think I mentioned those in my Kylie, like, um, Adidas Falcons that I got video. That was the last sneaker related video I did on my channel, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I took an L on those. I actually had other people trying to help me get those, and it was a no-go. And I saw them, like, on StockX for, like, over two, three $300. And I'm like, yeah, it's a no, because it's a purple, pink, and white shoe. Like, how many times am I possibly even going to be able to wear this shoe? So, it definitely wasn't worth it. And I'm part of, like, small feet grade school gang, so... I'm not in the business of paying over $300 for shoes. I've only paid over $300 for a shoe one time. And I got them off a of flight club. And it was years ago. <laughs> no, I say, I take that back. It was two times. And they both were off flight club. And I was just a little bit more naive. And really like, you know what? I can't get these anywhere. I got to get them now. With, when in actuality, if I would have waited, I probably could have paid much less for them. But... Hey, we all take us some L's every now and then. Me a little more often than I would like to. But, yep, that's bringing us to the end of this video. I have talked enough and I need to drink me some water. So, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.